morning guys what's the plan today trip to the mekong delta so i will be on a boat i will be with like a group of people and uh, i'm not really sure what else i'll be doing uh, so i'm going with these guys so it's a kim travel private tours blah 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 that's what i'm going to do i'm just going quickly to the 7-eleven and i'm waiting for a driver and yeah i'll guys keep you updated so yeah join me uh, on the trip uh, to the mekong delta river uh, hopefully it will be fun dried vegetarian jerky i will take that there's all sorts of jerky but but this is vegetarian so i will take two just in case Yeah, I'm going for watermelon biscuits. That sounds good. Yeah, guys, really nice stay. Rosa Zen Hotel and Spa. It's quite cheap. It was like 11 pounds per night, something like this. It's uh, really close to the, some parks and uh, that main street where there's like lots of shops and malls. Yeah, it's a good location and it's not really that expensive. Because yeah, here in Saigon, it might be pricey sometimes. I don't know. I really don't understand why. But how can be more expensive here than in fucking Singapore? I don't get it. All right, let's see where's my fucking driver. Three minutes. Okay, is like any specific car I should look at? Okay, I'm uh, in the front of the hotel, okay? Okay, okay, thank you. See you later. Hello, is that mine? Lovely. That's a good size. <laughs> All right. Yeah, get in the car. Good morning. 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 All right. So how many people going today? Uh, 28 people. How many? 28 people. 28 people? Yes. I saw right, so it, I, I saw it, will be a, a it will be party at the end <laughs> with bonfire in the forest. Yes. <laughs> Marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> no, not from London, from Bristol. Not far from Bristol. Where are you from? China. From China. If there's a city in China which is look like super futuristic, like from cyberpunk game, I think it's Chang Changju or so. I, I don't really like, I can't really pronounce it. Oh, you're from there? No. Oh. Really? No. So yeah, I, I want to visit that place. Yes, hello everyone. <laughs> okay. So, thank you for your joining our company today for your one day tour, Mekong Delta one day tour. Yes, and I will introduce myself myself first. My name is Lin, or you can call me by my nickname, Liam. Liam. Liam, uh, Liam Harrison. And uh, even the river. No transport station now like that. So I mean, they have to move to back roof on the boat. And from here, and from the southwest to the south. Fuck you know, guys, I feel like I'm, a, I'm at school. Bossing me around, you know. I can't sit on my own, I, can, I have to sit with somebody. I need to do some paperwork before the driver will get fine and uh, all of that jazz. Yeah, we have to stand up when, the, when he said we can stand up. And the other thing, what really, really pisses me off, is that fucking Chinese guy who's sitting next to me. I don't know if this is like in a Chinese culture that this is what people are doing, but guys, he's just sitting and he's just fucking farting next to me, you know, like it's like it's nothing, like it's fucking nothing. What a fucking sick bastard, you know, who's doing these things? Who's sitting next to the stranger in a bus and he's just farting like openly like it's, yeah, not a big deal, man. Deal with it. It's just, it's fucked up. Who does this thing? 
and uh, you know he wear he he wearing a fucking headphones, so I can't even talk to him. I don't I don't I don't even know how to react to this. If I will be sitting next to him on the way back, I'd rather fucking take a scooter. It's just a little a little bit ridiculous, you know. Well, I don't know. All right, let's have a look what's here. I believe this is like another sort of tourist trap, like I've seen in Bali. Probably everything three, four times more expensive because they're dropping everyone here like in this spot because there's a toilet and... Oh, guys, that's experience for sure. I'm, I'm out of here. You like her rock music? Hey? Beethoven. That's my design, that's my logo. Uh, uh, oh, I designed your, it that. Your logo? I designed it this, yeah. Because uh, uh, I'm a tattoo I, artist. Uh, I think he's... Uh, 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 metal, metal yeah, I like yeah. metal music as well, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 <sighs> You, you come from? I'm from England. England? Yeah. Okay, I like I change for you. Thank I, you very much. Yes, this is on veteran food. In Thank you. Durian coconut candy. There's no fucking way I will eat that. Yeah, I don't think I need anything. What is this? I think the dry bananas. Yeah, guys, I used to eat this as a kid. That's a heavy stuff. Can you imagine this? It's like a, it's like a one banana, but it's dry but it's still holding the same fucking calories and everything as a normal one. So can you imagine, you can eat this like really quick. Obviously you probably will shit yourself or you won't shit yourself for days. You can eat like half of it and you will just like fucking eating 20 bananas. So yeah, this is how it works with the dry bananas. So you see guys, there's nothing in English. I don't really know if it's vegetarian or what is this? I would like to try some things, but I don't know what it is. So, I'm not really sure if I understand that right. On the way, I've seen like a lot of tombstone, uh, tombstones next to, the, uh, next to the houses. And I think, because yeah, I, I tried to check the cemetery, but I didn't really see any on the map. So they probably burying their relatives, uh, you know, next to their houses, which is kind of, I don't know. I don't understand that. I, I don't think I would like to have my family or, you know, buried next to my house. They will be fucking haunting me, coming at night and just banging on the doors and stuff. That's why the cemeteries are for, yeah? You just keep all of these fuckers all up there. It's a healthy stuff. Like, they, they're fucking burying them on the fields, uh, like 20 meters from home. I don't know, it's really, really strange for me, quite bizarre. I didn't really know about that, but, you know, on the bus for like two hours, and I was like watching, you know, how the people living, this is, uh, we were passing like some villages and stuff. Fucking tombstones everywhere. All right, so a little stop and we'll be moving in a minute. I had two options. I had the option to book with a small group. So I'll be probably going on like smaller bus. And I had the option to go with a bigger group. It was cheaper. I paid about $20 for that. So it's like 10 hours. I choose the bigger bus because, yeah, for that reason, because it's more comfortable. And also I thought it's a bigger group, so it will be more fun. It's fucking farting motherfucker sitting next to me and it's, there's no fun at all. Very low, that water on two pair of you, two side of you. Okay, welcome, welcome. Alice Clar, Alice super good. Back in hell. Right. Oh. Yeah, I see a lot of tourists, they buying those uh, fucking hats. And I'm just wondering what they're doing with them, because they take so much space. Are they taking it back or are they just leaving them here? Or I don't think this is like a quite practical hat. I don't know. I don't know anything. That's very nice. Yeah. It's made in Japan, in Latvia. Okay. Okay. Yeah, bamboo. Bamboo, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that might be fun. Look at it. Yeah, that boat definitely has some story to tell, you know. It's quite old, which is great. Look at this. We've got a little kitchen on the back. Wow, how many coats of paint is there? Ugh. I wanna sit by the table. Usually when you're sitting by the table, it means you'll get something to eat. <laughs> Hopefully. 
All right, where's the glasses and the snacks and everything? <laughs> Where in your life jacket? Um, I, I can swim. Do I need to wear it? Yes. You I can need... swim, but I want to 100% for sure. Yeah, but I'm 200% sure I can swim. Yes. <laughs> Do I need to wear it? It's hot. Okay. I know they, they like to tell what to do, but I don't want to wear it. All right, adventure, guys. Okay, one second, I will tell you. Original coconut, no sugar at all. Just original, sweet tea by the coconut. In the honey tea. In there, you will see the some small boat like this. They just call it fishing on the Tien River. Myanmar, Laos, or Cambodia. They must for the uh, they must the new electric. So I mean, a lot of a thousand, uh, a lot of water. They cannot fly to Vietnam. Yeah, now he's trying. So yeah, he told me that when I will be in the train, I have looking at my belongings because a lot of people coming back north uh, after that New Year's Eve or whatever. Yeah, he said I have to be careful in a train. Ah, we'll see. Just be careful. Yeah, yeah I'm all yeah. careful all my life. <laughs> Yes, if you want to <laughs> Okay. It's filming, so. Yes, sure. You can say hello. Hello. <laughs> hello, my new Mr. Cameraman. <laughs> All right, thank you. Tastes like death. Yeah. Strong enough, right? No, this is a banana wine. Just make sure you wash your uh, brush your teeth after. <laughs> it's banana. <laughs> yes. That's why we're here. <laughs> yeah. It's good for men. Let's make your snake more alive. It's good for men and happy for women. I think so. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's for men only. <laughs> All right, cheers, guys. Okay, I will show you how to cheer in Vietnam. Okay. Yes. Would you like to watch? Cheers. I don't know, we have to do it in Vietnam style, so I don't know, he's showing us. <laughs> okay, now, how to cheer in Vietnam? Cheers. Yes, okay. So good. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Okay, let me show with you. I will say one, two, three, it means in Vietnam, mod, hai, ba, yo, cheer is mean yo. Okay? Mod, mod, hai, ba, yo. Yes, you can say mod. Hi, ba, yo. Okay, say with me. Mo, hi, ba, yo. Yes. Are we summon and a demon right now or something? <laughs> no witchcraft? Yes. Mm. <laughs> that definitely smells like death. 
Yeah, yeah, I tried that one. This is important. All his snacks. I had I had this before in the Brazil. It was different. Yes. It was because this is more wine, yeah. This include the wine, but the wine with the snack very high alcohol, high percentage alcohol. And the second, when they miss it, it's good for the man when they have for the night life. Oh. Yes, you know. And when if you want to more, this is include the wine for the. Cobra snack with the medicine. Mm -hmm. Ginseng. For, yes, Gen for the ginseng. Yeah. Yes, something like that for the good, for the good man in the night life. Yes. In the night life. <laughs> in the night life. You, you, you will be, you will be driving better. <laughs> yes. Your eyes will work better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. All right, guys, it's fun. It's fun. Let's have another two. <laughs> Fucking hell. That smells like a sweaty donkey. What is this? Fish. It stinks like a horse on a hot day. 5%. And it stays like it. It doesn't taste like anything stronger than like 10%. So I didn't really feel much, but yeah, definitely like aftertaste, like deafy aftertaste. Like um, sort of like fairy aftertaste on your, on your tongue. I had this stuff in Rio before, but it was vodka, and that was definitely stronger than uh, than this shit. It's probably like a glass of wine, and the rest is just water. I love boats like this, the old ones. Old ones, there's not even much paint on that. It's all gone. Fucking hell, I love this. That's definitely a boat with some history. You want? Yes. I'm scared. <laughs> You're scared. Okay. I think the is not balanced. We them. The crocodiles are more scared of people than. <laughs> yeah, they're they, scared. They don't want to. They don't want to end up on the. They don't want to end up on the plate. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Over there. That's a river roundabout. Yeah. No, no. We have <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yes. After that, so we go in there, yeah? Boat, yes. Okay. All right, hopefully there's a dinner in here or lunch, whatever. Yeah, I have to say, guys, for a fucking 20 pounds, it's fun. You know, 10 hours of something. This is fucking crazy. You can just pick them up, like just like that. So that's the snakes for the wine. Crocodiles. What the fuck? Look at this, very cute. That's chilling. Yeah, I'm just wondering what what they will be doing with them. Are they end up on a, on a fucking grill or what's going on? You should order vegetarian, it will be first as well. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a cool kids table. <laughs> Everyone just looking at us. <laughs> Me and like a, a Indian couple. Yeah, washing hands would be probably a good idea. So that's all for us. <laughs> to each. Fuck. I'm. I can film, but I don't have to eat. All right, that's our feast. All right, this looks like a beer glass, so hopefully they will serve some beer. Oh boy. All right, I will try that rice. <laughs> I 
think that tofu was done yesterday. I think they've done it yesterday. All I can taste is that garlic, some grass, no rice, rice, no taste, no, nothing, no, not even salt, nothing. Sorry, can we have some water, please? Or okay, no? water. Yeah, thank you. The rice didn't see a salt, nothing. Mm. It tastes like nothing. Yeah, the guy who's sitting next to me in the bus is farting, and I will be killing him with my garlic bread. I'm still hungry, so I'm going for the beef jerky. Mm -hmm. yeah, not bad, smoky, spicy. He brought us some pancakes. Just wondering if this is the same sort of pancakes, the, the oily one I have. All right, didn't expect that. What else they have in there? <laughs> What's this? Okay. I had them before and they were really oily, like a lot of coconut oil. But this, uh, this one's dryish, so you know, they know that much. Yeah, I had this before on the market, and they just put so much coconut oil, it was so fat, oily, but this is all right. This is for veteran food? Yeah. Hello? How can I help you about This is for Vietnamese veteran. They have more Indian veteran for you. This is all veteran. They have no sweet. You can see inside with the tofu. Yeah. Easy. You can eat with the soya. Yeah. Soya sauce. You your school with the soya sauce. <coughs> I have to say, Vietnamese food sucks. It's uh, soy <coughs> uh, beans protein. Yeah, that's why I bought them. All right, uh, that meal was terrible, tasteless. But what can they do? I didn't expect miracles anyway. At least they feed us somehow. That's right, we have one hour break. Yeah, I have to say, it's uh, value for money for sure. You know, they brought us here. That was two hours drive. It will be two hours drive back. Can I recommend it? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, you know, if you don't know what to do in uh, Saigon, and if you don't want to sit like in a bar, drinking and just, you know, yeah, that's definitely fun activity. Uh, especially that, you know, everything is planned. You don't have to worry about anything. They pick you up from the hotel. They drop you on the hotel, feed you. I'm okay.
看比较这个，晃的晃的，舒服嘞。All right, guys, that was fun. I think they're better coconuts than the Bali <coughs> Balinese ones. They're really like smooth and sweet. In Bali, they, they were sometimes a bit bitter. This one's good. 20,000, which is 80, 80 pence, something like this. Traditional music. Yeah. Okay? The ring of honey tea. Can we switch to wine? Uh, <laughs> no, you're any kid with a cup of wine. No wine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, follow me on this way. It's bloody bees in here. <laughs> Bees? Fuck you now. Alright, what's going on here? And I will show you how to chew in Vietnam again. After we drink the wine. <laughs> how to chew in Vietnam. More high class fuel. Yeah. How many years ago? Size there. More than you size Oh, what are you using? Okay, did you remember how to chew in Vietnam? No. Yeah. Thank you. Is this good for men as well? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know I can buy. Thank you. An another typical tourist trap when they're expecting you to buy overpriced products, which is you can probably find it on a, in a shop for like half of the price, which is completely normal. It's not my first tour, <laughs> I've seen that. But you know, I respect the hustle. But yeah, I'm not going to buy anything from here. Um, yeah, just like cruising around the tables, looking if anybody wants to buy this. I think it's only one person bought the the honey or whatever. The thing is, I see the prices from here. It's something cost like two hundred thousand to forty thousand and something one forty. I believe that set cost two hundred and forty thousand. Uh, and yeah, and you can probably buy this in a shop for sixty. Which is like common thing. It happened the same in like uh, Kopi Luvak plantation in Bali. Uh, we went to plantation. We've seen the coffee, and the coffee costs fucking millions of rupees. And uh, the same sort of coffee in a supermarket costs like three times less. You know, this is the way how they make money. It's usually on the uh, on the tourists. So, you know, like I said, I respect the hustle. But for me, I've seen this like so many times. It's just it's like doesn't really surprise me. 
So yeah, next next place we're going. Obviously, the tour guides they definitely have some commissions because they're bringing people here and they obviously receiving commissions and stuff. This is how this business works. But I think there's more and more people who just open uh, their eyes and they don't really support that sort of thing because it's bullshit, you know. They might say, oh, we're doing this in here and blah blah blah. We have some bees. It's an, only one or maybe two like boxes with bees and stuff you know they're just buying this stuff in a fucking wholesale and just selling like a local product which you know like 80 percent is bullshit so yeah that's why uh, i don't i want to support that sort of thing because it's just i don't need this first time uh, first thing and the other thing i'm just like i was born one day but it wasn't yesterday just wondering if this will be another tourist trap or it will be just pure entertainment or we have to buy something in there as well <laughs> because obviously the places like this is just like yeah. they probably don't even make it there because I don't know if you see the prices of this fucking honey it's 240 yeah, like... you can buy this in the shop for probably three times cheaper it's a pretty common thing in Bali they will take you somewhere on a tour yeah. and they said oh we're going to try like a Bali, Bali coffee or whatever yeah. <laughs> you're going there and they're doing everything for sure they're just waiting when the group is coming yeah. and they just like going out of the shed and they start working the yeah. <laughs> and then you can buy overpriced coffee at the end of the of the tour. If you don't buy, they are, everyone just pissed off. <laughs> yeah, they do that here too a lot. Yeah, because obviously this guy he's getting commissions from uh, from the seller, but he's not pushy. In Bali, they were really pushy when the, the tour guide will take you somewhere, and they will be, oh guys, maybe you want to buy something. Maybe look, it's just like original Bali. And say, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, <laughs> take take me out of here yeah. quick as possible. I do like tours like this because you get to do stuff like you would wouldn't normally be able to do. Yeah, of course. But the tourist crappy stuff yeah. does get tired. Especially, they, they could be honest at least. Yeah. They say, like, look guys, you try it. Oh, just okay. Yeah, this is support us somehow. Or even sell for the, like a normal price. Yeah. And obviously more people will maybe buy it. I see some glass, this is always a good sign. Okay, this is Come on. Show your generosity. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, come on. Yeah, go for it. Very nice. <laughs> Come on, your turn now. Yeah? Yeah, you have to sing now. Oh, uh, you want to sing? No, you. No, uh, uh, no. Your I turn. I, I, I thought it's myself. your turn. I yes, thought... you want. No, no, I just sing with down because this is the, the song I know. Ah, okay. I hear a, a lot of more than 100, 100 times, so I mean, I, mm -hmm. I know this. This is for the day. Oh. Okay, I'll come back to the meter board and visit the Vinh Chang Phu Go. Can I get a cup? You want to change the cup? Okay. Yeah. Have a good one. It's in the bottom. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, sir. Oh, she should. <laughs> it tastes like chrysanthemum tea. Yeah. yeah. Is that chrysanthemum tea? Huh? What what tea is that? The tea. Yeah. It's like it sounds like a lavender. No no no. The the tea. Is... It tastes like chrysanthemum for me. But I'm not sure. A flowery for sure. <laughs> so do you love football, boxing, or anything? Do I look like a guy who likes football or boxing? Football. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't I, like any sport. No, you, you I'm not into sport. No, 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 it's boring as no fuck. No gym, no sport. No. no. I'd rather to watch the paint dry than, oh, than yeah. watch football, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like watching sport either. No, it's not because, my thing. Because uh, you know, in Vietnam, yeah. lots of people in Vietnam love football. Just me, me I, I still love football, including yeah. the boxing or MMA, or even the Muay Thai or kickboxing. Yeah. You know, this is, um, what is your job in your team? IT engineer. IT engineer. Wow. Oh, how, how do you feel about the uh, AI? Yes. Oh. <laughs> We're going deep in that conversation. Oh, yeah. All right. Because in Vietnam, <laughs> because in Vietnam they are still improve 
they have yeah. improved the AI for their, their I think every, everywhere everywhere in the world yeah. they try to improve AI, yeah. not only in Vietnam. <laughs> not only Vietnam. <laughs> It's but in Vietnam, you know, Vietnam is for the like a poverty country. Mm -hmm. Just they just care for the poverty about maybe five years, about five to ten years. And now Vietnam for improvement, improve and development to uh, the AI very quickly. Mm -hmm. Vietnam follow the trend. So they wanna kick the poor people even more oh, no. to take to take the, their <laughs> jobs, yeah. They yeah. want to replace their jobs from you know, in McDonald's and yeah. coffee places with AI. Yeah. So they just want to send everyone to the farms. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>? but, uh, <laughs> that's, the, now. that's the plan here. <laughs> yes, but, but some jobs will in the future will be changed by the AI. So yeah, so what, so what will happen with the people who are will be replaced by AI? We'll replace they will them. send them into other yeah, islands or they send them to Mars? <laughs> Where they send them? Yeah. What these people will be doing? Yes, like a farmer or like a worker in the industry so i mean they mm. will, will be changed by the what AI industry will, will be everything will be replaced by ai yeah no the the world so will be, uh, people will be singing will, and the dancing and, the AI and, and drinking tea yeah <laughs> and you will not lose your job <laughs> <laughs> yes no 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 i mean that just uh, hold on I hold mean, on if you will have like a headset yeah <laughs> with recorded the whole thing what this oh, guy saying yeah, you can just put, put, you can switch any language and it will sound better than yeah. this guy <laughs> and then you can understand everything yes. and it will be like, hey, in three minutes in this place and oh, it, literally yeah. in front of your eyes, you know where you should go. You yes. don't need him. But, but, but you know, your AI can, cannot change their emotion. Uh, yeah. I don't give. I don't care about your emotions. <laughs> you, you're supposed to tell me where I should go, where I should sit, and that's it. That's your job. No, no, no. <laughs> Every guy. So you shouldn't emotion. really preach AI because yeah, this really is not. A, it's AI. not a good thing. Yeah. I think what left is like uh, we will be visiting uh, Pagoda, and I think that will be it. That's the last part of the trip. Which guys, oh, probably one hour too long. I would say that singing contest was wasn't really necessary. Is that uh, it's for balance? Huh? The coconuts oh. for, for balance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's uh, definitely worth this. Twenty with twenty dollars or whatever it was. Did I learn something? A little bit, yeah, for sure. Uh, it's all bullshit anyway. Tourist bullshit. Thank you. Uh. All right, one one more thing, and we're going home. So probably another three hours. Yeah, I'm quite hungry. I'm I'm fancy to eat those little buns in that uh, veget vegetarian uh, thing. I still got these watermelon cookies. I might open them now. I don't know. I love boats like this. You know, the old rusty wooden boats beautiful they definitely tell a story or how many days that boat was on a uh, in use you know beautiful i love it all right we barely opened the the package it's so difficult <laughs> yeah <laughs> help me to open it all right guys there's some biscuits I don't really look like. <laughs> yeah, they lied to me. <laughs> they don't look like this, but anyway. Rotten watermelon, <laughs> yeah. Look at this, it's chilling. The Buddha is chilling. That's super fucking cool. And don't worry here. Literally. 
Well, I understand why it's only 50 minutes, because they don't have any commissions from bringing us here. So, you know, that's why. But it's still, it's just like straight into your face. They don't give a fuck about you learning something or looking at something nice. They just want their fucking commission and money and everything. I don't remember when I've seen that uh, gun last time. Double mint. Yeah, this is nice, nice statue. Not sure if I can go there. That's amazing. Yeah, I have to say, it's impressive. Yeah, it's bloody impressive. Just wondering what, what they use to make it. Because I don't think it's like a one piece, it's probably some metal or I don't know. Yeah, that's definitely like rock, stone and everything. Yeah, that's cool. impressive for sure but for me in my taste I still like Balinese more I like Balinese aesthetic more than uh, this uh, than this one Uh, thank you. Thank you. Alright guys, finally they drop us private market. So I'm going to withdraw some cash, I'm going to eat something, I'm going back to hotel. I was like snoozing a little bit on the way. I'm I'm quite tired like mentally and from uh, from everything. Yeah guys, I will wrap it up. Thank you very much for staying. It's definitely a long video. But hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you see what you can actually expect from the tour. I can definitely recommend. It was fun, you know, it's it's not really expensive and I have to say it, you know, for 20 fucking dollars or pounds or whatever, you've got the whole day of activities, you know, and uh, yeah, that was definitely fun. So I can definitely, I can definitely recommend. Guys, thank you very much for staying. Don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, leave a comment. Thank you very much for supporting me and yeah, stay tuned.